Hey folks, how you doing? This is my hash. Today, I'm going to take this old PS4 Pro and give it a new lease of life by sticking this new SSD in it. Most people don't know this, but the biggest difference between the PS5 and the Pro are the game load times. And the graphics are almost the same on both consoles. By adding this SSD, we're going to cut these load times by half. One thing the PS4 Pro has over the PS5 is that it looks far better and sits better on your table because of its sleek black design. So enough talk, let's go. First off, you need to back up your current PlayStation hard drive so that you won't lose all the games and save files and settings and so on. To back up, connect an external hard drive or as in my case a micro SD card into the USB port on the PS4. Make sure it has enough space for the backup. Then go to Settings, System, Backup and Restore and select Backup PS4. Select the items that you want to save. I just selected WRC9 which is the only game I play these days and of course all the saved data and settings. Alright, next take a USB drive and connect it to your computer. Now download the PlayStation system software that will be used to reinitialize the PS4 after installing the new SSD. Go to the PlayStation site and download this file onto your computer. And the direct link is in the description of this video. Now format your USB drive and then create a folder inside and name it PS4. Within that folder, create another folder and name it Update. Now copy the downloaded installation file into this Update folder. Now everything is ready, let's remove the hard drive from the PS4 and install a new SSD. Remove the flap here and use a Phillips screwdriver to access the hard drive. Now take out your new SSD. Mine's a 1TB Crucial MX500. It comes with this plastic standoff. Place the standoff into this tray and the SSD on top of it. Screw in the nuts and put the tray back inside the PS4. Now reconnect the PS4 and get the USB drive with the system software on it. Plug it into the USB port and press and hold the power button for 7 seconds. Now the PlayStation will boot up in safe mode. Select the number 7 option on the list. Initialize and restore system software. After restart, follow the prompts till you get into this user login page. Now stick the backup drive into the PS4. Go to the backup and restore page and select restore PS4 and follow the prompts. Now the PS4 Pro will load much faster and feel snappier. Load times on WRC9 are much lower and this means less frustration.
On a side note, the WD My Passport Pro doesn't work as an external hard drive with the PS4 Pro. I have no idea why. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.